How you doing everyone? It's Kyo. A political commentator named Ashley Allison said that black people felt represented by OJ Simpson because he killed two white people. Don't take it from me, let's watch together. But it was so racially charged because of what had happened uh, just before with Rodney King, but also just how black Americans feel about policing. It's not like OJ Simpson was the, the leader of the civil rights movement of his era. You right. know, he wasn't a social justice leader, but he represented something for the black community in that moment, in that trial, particularly because there were two white people who had been killed. And the, the history around how black people have been persecuted um, during slavery, there were, there were just so many layers. And I guess I would just close with this, is that there was racial tension then, there is racial tension now. It might not be the backdrop of the Trump campaign, but until this country is ready to actually have an honest conversation about the racial dynamics from our origin story till today, we will always have moments like O.J. Simpson that manifest and our country will always be divided if we don't actually deal with the issue of race. I'm actually surprised she said the quiet part out loud. Since the Obama administration, it seems like there's an attempt being made to raise racial tensions again to divide this country. I believe polls before 2016 were saying things like Americans feel that America is finally being healed from its past of racism and uh, discrimination. But after Obama got elected, it just seems like this country has been more divided than it's ever been in modern history. But one thing that this political commentator represents, I believe, is the boiling hatred with a sect of African Americans that's growing an intense hatred of white people. When I became a conservative or a non-leftist anymore, I was recognizing that we have been brainwashed as black people to believe that white people are the standard for everything. That's why we oftentimes keep comparing ourselves to white people. Look what the white people are doing. The white people have this, the white people have that. And it's form an intense insecurity within black Americans against white people. I personally believe it's because of the constant propaganda. We're constantly given slavery movies, movies about segregation. We're constantly reminded how America was terrible against blacks, all this kind of stuff. To the point where it's reinforcing in many black people's minds that you're lesser than white people. And because a lot of black people have self-hatred against themselves, thinking that they're not good enough because white people have this and that, there is an intense hatred that develops because of that insecurity. Like I'm pretty sure you've met some black folk who are always talking about white people, white people this, white people that, white people are destroying us, white people are, are discriminating against us, systematic racism, all that. It's like the standard for everything black people do is compared to white people. Really and truly, you should compare everything you do just to excellence in general. It's not that one group is the standard of excellence, it's just that one group may have more excellence in that group, if that makes any sense. But so-called black leaders and white liberals have conditioned black people to feel inferior. And even the most pro-black people, you always feel a sense of insecurity or inferiority they have towards white people. Because if you truly didn't care about a certain group, you wouldn't be talking about them 24 seven. Insecurity is a very dangerous thing because envy, jealousy, and pride come out of insecurity. So now our institutions have convinced black people to the point where they want to see or like to see or don't mind seeing white people being murdered. This is going to cause a huge backlash in the future. I made a video about how leftism is going to revive white supremacy because with this modern age movement of hating white people, it's, it's popular to crap on white people. It's gonna cause a reaction from white folks to start believing in white supremacist ideals again. I mentioned in that video, but you guys can watch it out, I'll probably put it here or here, somewhere right here, that it's going to give an excuse, leftism and wokeism is gonna give an excuse for white people to, react, uh, to retaliate or justify racial views against black people because of this modern agenda to get black people to hate white people again and to constantly feel to be in a state of insecurity or inferiority towards white people. And the fact that you can celebrate two people being murdered just because they were white it says a lot about you. It's like the phrase that says you become the very thing you've hated. But most of us know because you're smart people that this is just a ploy to keep us divided and keep us controlled because a kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. It's always black against white, men against women, straight against gay, poor against rich, all these kind of stuff. But really and truly, I think that we as black people need to come out of that thought pattern of insecurity. Because if you constantly feel insecure against somebody, you're going to hate them or feel like you're never good enough. 
and you won't feel satisfied until the, whatever you feel inferior to is destroyed. Because my identity is based in God, nothing else. I don't care what white people think of me. I don't think what black people care about me. As long as what I'm doing is good in the, in the sights of God, that's all I care about. But that spirit of insecurity will have people saying things like this, because you despise and you're jealous of white people and you're insecure about white people so much that you wanna see them destroyed. But again, it's because black people are being used by the powers that be. They're using our insecurity to use us as fuel to push certain movements and certain ideologies. And if we have black people saying things like this, what prevents the white racists from saying that we got to retaliate against the black people. It's like action and reaction, action, reaction. Yeah, black people, we got to stop caring about what, what white people are thinking because more, majority of white people don't care about what black people are doing. Only we care about white people like that. But yeah, that's the video. I think it's crazy what she was saying on CNN, but CNN is known for having really crazy people on their panels. But uh, let me know what you guys think about what I said. Am I right? Am I wrong? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you like the video, like and subscribe. And if you're interested, please check any of these videos here and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.